She had no light at all, nothing. This was, this is where she lived. Showing us around the stalls, 10 horses, three sheep and a goat called home. Cody Winchester says it's unlike anything she's ever seen. There's no food and water. Some of the hooves were um, curled up really bad. Winchester is a member of the Sasha Farm Animal Sanctuary, one of the many groups that had to be called in because of the large number of animals. There's no food or water in there. It's just mud and gunk. She points out that while many of the horses had names, what they didn't have was care. It's just a, a neglect. Um, they were not taken care of. They had no vet care. Nobody ever took care of their hooves. Uh, some of them are extremely overweight. Um, some of their, their hooves are so bad that they had difficulty walking. Winchester says one of the hardest parts was removing the more than 40 cats. They were all over under the couches, back in the back room. And if you just walk in for a second, you can just smell it and your eyes just burn. And these cats were living in these conditions. I think we got 20 some out of this one room. And for Winchester, seeing the sadness in these faces is painful. It's heartbreaking. It's just heartbreaking how anybody can think that that's okay care. But she says knowing she helped rescue these animals is satisfying. Absolutely. Now she just hopes to see them all get a second chance at life outside the cages that have held them prisoner for so long. In Howell, Stacia Mullaney, 6 News.